Hey guys, StarCraft here, and I got a bit of a theory video. Not a major theory, like a comic book one. This one's a bit more of a rant theory. So many of you guys, ever since, especially in the past few years, especially with the news about DC's cuts, have been constantly going on saying, Fire Dan DiDio, get rid of him. Uh, get rid of him, see there'll be so much better if he was gone. Get rid of Jim Lee too where we're at. They don't know what they're doing. They are sinking a ship. They have no understanding of comments. They want to destroy comments, yada, yada, yada. Guys, think about what would have happened for, here's my theory for you guys. Cause here's the thing, let's ask yourself. What if Dan and Jim did get canned? You really think they're gonna give it to Jeff Johns? As far as Warner Bros. is concerned, he is a failure. Why do you think he lost his position in the first place? Do you think they're gonna give it right back to him after they got rid of Dan and Jim? Heck no! So they're not gonna give it to Jeff. I think Bob Harris would go out the door since he's only been more of a figurehead than anything else. I don't know much about his editing as Ethan's pointed out. What do you think they're going to do? They're gonna probably get some hip, new, progressive, maybe even a feminist, editor, man or woman, either or, or in between, what, what have you. And despite them saying they're going to go for, you know, staying true to it, I bet you the new person they would put in charge would take it in their own direction. And think about that. What would probably happen then? My theory is we'd be getting a whole bunch of even more changes. Bendis would be allowed to be cut loose. They would care of no care for editorialness at all. And they would ruin the characters. They would make Batman... I mean, some of you might say, oh, they're already, they're already doing that. Not as bad as Marvel, people. I think you are so jaded by how they, and Warner Brothers, lack, DC's lack of response to certain issues like the anus gate and all that. You are starting to think, oh, they are absolutely no different to Marvel when it is not the case whatsoever. You guys have got to start thinking clearly because with Dan gone... And Dan and Jim have both shown they are still fans. They still want to do something with the characters. They might be making horrible decisions, yes, but they're still doing it with the intention of being fans, not pushing political agendas. You, they are, and whatever is done feels more like throwing bones to people, to some of these people, or the editors are trying to slip it through. But they are still trying to keep a tight rein compared to Marvel. You, they're gone. It's Marvel 2.0. All right. We're going to have Marvel 2.0, and my theory is going to basically be that you have Superman, it's going to get worse. They're going to probably even change him, make him, replace him with a black guy, probably bring in the guy from uh, Earth 2 and say, oh, the original one died off, here's our new Superman. They'll probably make Batman even worse. T say what you will about Tom King, though, he at least has a story in mind, and I do not agree that everything they're doing is cucking him. I don't agree with that. That's a matter of opinion. But I think if they're gone, it'll get worse. It'll be more blatant, more obvious. Then you can have stuff like I mean, Green Arrow. Good Lord, he's been a pretty. They've been people been able to handle him fine, but I think he'll become insufferable. Or you know, it's going to basically be the whole. The future is female, probably. Then it's going to probably happen to there. And yes, there are plenty of strong female characters. But I think one one would get worse. I think so many people here would get so much worse. And like I said. Yes, there's little bits here and there. I think that's trying that's compromises trying to still get some good stories out of a lot of these writers. But at the same time, if they were gone, really, what's gonna happen? I want you guys to really tell me. If Dan and the others leave, give me what you realistically think would happen. Alright? You honestly think if they left, it's gonna be so much better. Even Ethan Van Skyver says they're gone, it's over. Game over. Because yeah, they are the one of the last holdouts trying to keep the characters still as true as they can. Yeah, they're making errors. Yes. But once the fucking gun, what would happen when they leave? Tell me. You guys honestly tell me. What would fucking happen once they leave? Do you really think it's going to get any better? Do you honestly, honest to God, think that they would be replaced by somebody who would still continue and try to tell better stories? Do you honestly think they'll give it to Jeff Johns? After again, Warner Brothers, as far as they're concerned, he's a fuck up in their eyes. He wouldn't have lost his position and then get it back not long afterwards just because they fired Dan and Jim. Honestly, tell me who do you think they put? Do you think they would put Peter Tomasi in there? I don't think so. And that means we'd also lose him as a writer because he'd be too busy. I honest to God think that they would just get someone new, someone progressive, who would then bring stuff down. Alright, guys. Seriously. Think it through. This is clearly a case of better, better the devil you know than the devil you don't. Because, honestly, tell me, 
Tell me what you honestly think would happen if they were fired. What do you think would happen? Do you want DC to go under even more? Could I get what you guys are saying? Oh, I'd rather, and I would like to see these people gone then see my, and so I can come back and read DC again. Guys, it's not as bad as Marvel. And we don't, and again, back to the whole, oh, they didn't handle Anus Gate well. We don't know how things operate over there. We don't. All right, that doesn't mean automatically we assume, oh, it's approval. You guys are just so jaded with everything. You are just so used to everything all right, at Marvel. You guys keep on thinking, oh, what? I, it's going to happen. And I, oh, it has to be no different than at Marvel. How the fuck do you know? Okay, yes, there are some editors there who clearly are these progressives. But again, it look, feels like they are mostly kept on a short leash. There are still some who know what they're doing. I mean, yes, again, they're letting some who are cutting the, off the rail. But here's the other thing is, I don't think Dan is as much at fault as everyone likes to make it out to be. Because there's so many times where when people go into more detail, it turns out Dan, well, yes, he made some decisions. A lot of times he was just told an idea and he was like, oh, hey, that sounds like a good idea. Go ahead with that. That sounds like we get some stuff out of it. That's what it sounds more like. A lot of these sound like these were still the creator's ideas. Yes, there's some bonehead ideas and declarations Dan has made. Yes. That doesn't mean that it's all Dan's fault. Stop putting everything on Dan. I mean, they got to the point where even Keith Giffen, when he did his ambush bug year none year, like over 10 years ago, where he made a joke of, of Dan saying, sick all the fans on me, put it on me, let them do it. I'll take the hit for the team. It's like, I think there's a bit of truth in that. He probably does do it. There's so many times where he is a bit of a showman. He's basically like, like oh, I hold these ideas. Yeah, but I suggest. It's like, yeah. He probably is taking a lot of heat or he's making it seem like, again, he's a showman. <sighs> Look, I gotta, and I don't, and that's all I had to say. Guys, I mean it though, honestly. What do you think would happen? What do you honestly think would happen here? Just be honest. If Dan was gone and Jim was gone and they got someone new, who do you think would replace them? And if you really think, and name me an honest to God, replacement that you really think Warner Brothers would put there. Not who you want to be put in there, but who you really think Warner Brothers would put in there. Okay? Think about it and then think about what would happen afterwards. Don't be giving all this. Get rid of them and then my our dream results will happen. No, no. Think realistically. Would you rather have Dan and Jim who are still trying to still keep the characters relatively consistent. Yes, some mistakes. Would you rather have some new, hip, new, progressive, woke, ed, you know, person in charge who will make it Marvel 2.0? Because if you ask me personally, I'd rather st- stay the course than get Marvel 2.0. If that's what you guys want, if you guys really risk it, if you guys really think it's not going to come to that, then go ahead. Keep on shouting. But think clearly, guys. That's what I'm saying. I gotta get going. Catch y'all later.